can't you stay with me? I just like to hold on to all the memories. It doesn't hurt me anymore. I want you, you. Don't want you to leave. You stay with me. I want you, you. Don't want you to leave. You stay with me. I want you, 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 you. Hey Mix Studios, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Part two here today of building the assembly square. And I marked my page with the uh, brick separator. <laughs> so we wouldn't be uh, too confused when we started building here now today. But how is how are you doing? Today is Wednesday the 24th. And we ended on bag number three, since uh, there's so many bags for each of these uh, for each of these steps. Actually, there's only there's only five bags for step number three here, but that's all good. Hello, Imperial Brick. Hello, hello. Welcome back to part number two here as we uh, continue building the assembly square here the set so far is truly pretty awesome looking like a funko mando at your shirt <laughs> yup i got this i think that this was at target it was like a little box and it came with like a little funko pop of the uh, mandalorian and then it came with the t-shirt too which was actually I, I kind of like the t-shirt, it's kind of cool. He has the best shirts. I try to get some of the cooler shirts, not really like the plain Jane ones. I try to find the interesting and cool Star Wars shirts and stuff like that. Also, I wanted to start the stream up a little earlier today since it took us a while yesterday, but uh, I kind of woke up a little late. I didn't even stay up late. I think I stayed up until like... 11:30 last night, 11:30 close to midnight, and then I just slept in today. I must have just been tired or something. I don't know. All right, and then here comes the fun part of finding space where to put all these bricks. Let me just move this camera back just a little bit. We can even zoom it in. But as you can see from the table right here, the sun's actually out, which is uh, a little different. Oh. Interesting. I've never seen this piece in a trans color. This is like that ball joint piece that has the pole on it. Uh, it's really hard to see, but it's trans green. It's like a light trans green. Huh. Never seen those pieces like that before. I've only ever seen them in the uh, dark bluish gray, to be honest. Huh. Interesting pieces already. I like it. I have a shirt with a T-Rex look-alike AT-80 hunting a snow speeder with a pile in panic. Nice mix between Star Wars and Jurassic Park. Heck yeah, that sounds actually pretty sweet. I like Jurassic Park or Jurassic World too. You made it! Yeah, we just started. Just started. Alright, so we just opened up the third step here. I'm gonna separate all these like doors and windows. That's what I did yesterday and it kind of helped a little bit because these are just really big blocky pieces right here. All right, it 
looks like we have some some bars right here. Bonjour. Looks like we also have the flower shop worker here as well as a minifigure to build. Ooh, I like this door. I'll show it here in just a second. All right. I really like this door right here. The black and kind of like the plastic or the glass is what it's supposed to be. I like that. Here we have another just glass piece right here. There we go. All right. Lots of windows it looks like in this uh in these steps. Ah, uh, we have a little chihuahua it looks like. Oh, it's so hard to see on this camera. But it's a little chihuahua. It looks like it's like from like a friend set. Even though I don't even know if friend sets were around in 2017 to be completely honest. I just had the minifigure head. Where'd it go? Oh. Stuck in the window piece. Ooh, we got some leg printing on this minifigure. Or her apron. Uh, kind of like the, uh, <laughs> the Karen haircut for the hair piece, but... Uh, simple minifigure. A nice leg printing, but then, like I said, like the Karen haircut. It was also in the minifigure series. Oh, okay. Well, we have a little Chihuahua dog here. But yeah, I can see that being in the minifigure series as well. There we go. Have the little doggy on the base plate there. Who knows when we'll have to use that plate and then we won't have anywhere to put our minifigures, but hey, that's all right. How cool we get to start building uh, this side right here. Get to kind of lock everything down here, it looks like. But how's everyone's day going today? Like I said, I kind of woke up a little late. It was not my intention. I meant to get up earlier so that we can uh, start the stream a little earlier since it took us a little while yesterday. So That's what I wanted to do, but then I woke up kind of a little late. <laughs> Normally I wake up at like... Eight in the morning, I would say. Julia W. Hello, hello. I also have a frog, a snake, a baby velociraptor, a small bear, a rat, a snake, and a bunny. All for Lego. That is pretty awesome. I think that they, I think that Lego does a pretty good job with their animal molds and stuff like that. They're so cute. <laughs> Some of them are, yeah. Some of them definitely are. Some of them could maybe use a little bit more work. Right now, I think my favorite might be the uh, the husky from the uh, b medieval blacksmith. That was that's a pretty cool piece or a pretty cool animal. All right. Well, we got the first step done. Now I don't know. What, I I know that with this building that there's like a ballet studio up on top and stuff like that. So that's all I really know about the rightmost building here or on your screen. It's 
actually on the left side, but we yesterday we started building the bottom or we built the bottom of the flower shop as well as the bakery, which I really like how they did the bakery. I think they have more baby raptors than dogs. They might because of uh, the uh, Lego Movie 2 sets that have those uh, little velociraptors in them. And then of course all the uh, all the Jurassic World uh, sets on top of that too. Interesting kind of like pale dark green right here color. I'm not really sure if I like it as a color. Just doesn't look that good, I feel like. It's like a pale olive green. Or maybe it's just straight up olive green. But it looks like it builds a little chair right there. Very nice. And then also yesterday I went and got me a new controller. Because yesterday I was talking about how my controller was broken. So after we went to the vet yesterday we uh, went to Walmart and I got myself a new controller. And it was nice to have s something actually work since it was not working beforehand and then I made sure to get the uh, protection plan on top of that in case if it happens again I don't really like these brown bricks kind of I'm sure it'll look better once it's fully built but kind of looks doesn't really look that good just all together right now. I like it when they do more of like colorful builds and stuff like that. I was just looking for the completely wrong piece. I was looking for a brown 1x2 brick, but it's actually it's actually a black 1x2 brick that I needed. So I might have been looking there for a long time. <laughs> if I went to notice that. I'm really excited for the little details that go on the uh, corners and the walls that they always put on the outside of buildings for modulars here. And kind of like how they did the uh, the stonework on the corners for the medieval blacksmith. Ooh, nice little lights, and in lights on the inside here. Look pretty nice. There we go. Nice little lights on the inside of this brown building right here. Move the staircase here too. It's a Big old piece. Just 
surprised that we're not putting anything on the inside of the build here. We're just building up the walls. I'm sure we might. I'm sure we'll build something here pretty soon. A nice little dark green piece here. I'm gonna change the music here real quick. I had it on this one station and it just wasn't well at first it was fine, but then Oh, maybe it's just not gonna allow me to change it. Even though I I've always been able to change it. Let's try this again. <laughs> Popped up in a new. Why did it pop up in a new? Okay, that's weird. I just kind of put on a put on a chill station is what it says. Oh, that's a small step <laughs> I mean there's quite a bit going into each step and that was a bit of a smaller one get a nice little window piece right here I see some coffee mugs and everything too Another easy little step. Here we get to put in another door. Lots of door frames and windows. There we go. It didn't seem like it wanted to uh, lock in a place right there. Alright, got a nice little door on the side there, even though. That's probably the only time we'll ever actually use slash be able to see it. But we just gotta know that it's there. Uh, 
Got more of this brown color coming in right here as well. Like I said, not really sure if I enjoy this brown coloring. Just kind of bleh. Oh, we get to make like a little table and a little chair. Very cute. Jeez, they really do spread around all the pieces, don't they? I like this little chair here that we're uh, about to build right now. Do you really think you will finish it today? Uh, here's hoping to finishing it today. Because tomorrow I would like to build the uh, Porsche 911 right here that I just got in the mail yesterday. So I'd love to build that tomorrow. If we don't finish it today, then maybe we'll just finish it on Thursday. Or Friday. I love the pretzel use for the sign of the store. It's such a clever use of a piece. It really is. I, I really do like that too. It does look really nice. Just locked in all those doorways that we just set up so they're not all loosey goosey, I guess you could say. Kind of weird that the back side of the building here is black and gray, but then the side of the building is this brown color. Kind of looks a little weird. In my own opinion. Here we get to put on the uh, staircase right here. The mold, the already molded staircase piece, I should say. Fairly simple little build right there. Oh, look at that. It's supposed to connect up just like that. There we go. Alright. Fits perfect. Interesting use of these uh, maroon headlight pieces right here. Just a little extra added detail, I guess. Uh oh, okay. I think that's supposed to be like a little filing cabinet or something on this desk.
Oh, is this supposed to be a little coffee maker? Is that what this is supposed to be? Also sitting on top of the desk? I can find the right piece here. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be a little coffee maker. <laughs> Very cute. There will be no wall between the stair and the room. Uh, doesn't look like it. But we do put this uh, coffee maker in front of it. Just like that. The coffee maker slash desk. Alright, now it looks like we're making another little desk here, got some nice pale blue pieces right here, and some dark blue, and some trans blue piece, here it is, just a trans blue 1x2 brick. Got lots of blue in this little desk here. Probably to add some more color to the tan and brown and kind of dull olive green looking colors that they put all around the other or all around the room there. All right, we have a little plate, it looks like, with a, a, a pie piece? Oh, it is a pie piece. Some of those, like, rounded one-by-one -one tiles with the uh, pie printed on it, as well as there's two little coffee mugs right here. Looks like this is supposed to be a low cash register as well. Lots of low cash registers going on in this build. And this, it's, it's like this. All right. And this goes right here. Yeah, just like that. Oh, wait. Just like that. There we go. Here we have another nice little table it looks like we're building here. With a trans blue cone piece. And it looks like another plate with another pie piece on it. I like it. This is supposed to be yellow or orange? Must be one. And, and we kind of have this uh, partial cone piece right there. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a lamp or if it's supposed to be like a water bottle. Ooh, but that looks really nice right there. Matches the floor. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Move this over here. Move this up. The sun burns down the minifigures. Yeah, let me uh, let me close up my window here real quick. 
Didn't expect it to be this sunny outside. Hold on. There we go. Too easy. But it's not a thing about making it after all. It's not about making it feel right. I accidentally turned my page a little bit too far. We got this nice little archway to go right here. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Lots of interesting little building uses with some of these plates. Oh, it sounds like the uh, snow plow is going outside. Oh, come on, you dumb brick. There we go. Didn't want to go into place. I actually did that wrong. It's not a thing about making it after all. There we go. It's about making it feel right. Take. We're building four of these uh, big old window with smaller windows on top to kind of give it a little bit more character, I guess you could say, for the window. Yeah, build four of them. <clears throat> but it's not a thing about making it after all. Now we just gotta build one more. But it still looks like we have a bunch of little windows that we're just still gonna have to put up as well on top of all of this. There we go. So, lots of little windows going into this, as you can see over here. It looks really nice on the inside now that we actually uh, added some other uh, pieces into it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> that sneeze kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, here we get to put that nice looking door into place. Oh, that's pretty cool how they put together this door right here. Oh. Yep, just like that. 
There we go. Sits on one of those uh, swivel pieces so that you can get it to be diagonal like that right there. So very cool. All right, and then we just got to put down these black kind of column pieces here. Thank you, Imperial Brig. <laughs> yeah, that sneeze came out of nowhere. I still feel like I might have to sneeze again. <laughs> now my nose feels all stuffed up and everything. There we go. So now we have all that right there, good to go. <laughs> try not to be, try not to be too annoying here with my nose. The angles are looking good. They do look really good. All right. I'm putting in these archways right here. I like that. Can't really see that well. Did you already build the fountain? No, we have not built the fountain yet. This is just the base of the fountain right here. <laughs> not yet, but I'm going to assume that we'll build it here pretty soon. All right, cool. So we got these nice little archways going over the windows. It looks very nice. <laughs> and I assume that we're going to be putting something in front of them too. Oh, and then we put six of these smaller windows in the back side of the building here too. Huh. Oh, and on the side. Interesting. <laughs> oh, and just like that, just about all of our window in frame pieces are all done or are all used up so i'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a little hotel lobby or just like a little like coffee shop type place it looks nice now that we actually added color into it it's kind of a little gloomy beforehand
I did. I did this place. One. <clears throat> Man, it still feels like my nose is like <laughs> is like running <laughs> after that sneeze. Like I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. that I missed. Hold on, do a second. I gotta turn this around. Hello, BC Strike. Hello, hello, welcome. doesn't want to fit.
That's all. I just keep missing dumb little steps. <laughs> when it comes to putting this all together. Because it doesn't really highlight it all that well. It highlights it some, but... Sometimes it's hard to tell because it like also puts it next to all the other pieces that you're putting down. There we go. Now everything's should be all lined up. There we go. The back side is pretty, uh, pretty empty as well. <laughs> as you can see, I wish that they would kind of just like tile down the back side too. I mean, they already have this many pieces. I don't really see how it hurt to make sure that everything looks tiled down and that you just don't have this green back side to everything, you know? Maybe I might uh, just order a bunch of dark bluish gray tiles and just pile it down myself. It'd make the backside look a whole lot better than this. All right, but there we go. Okay, so everything's all connected up, all nice and sturdy there on the right side building. Here we get to put down a whole bunch of plates, it looks like. Make sure everything is all connected up. Nice, perfect right here. Nice and solid right there. Ooh, we get to tile it down now. Huh. I think that's still really weird that, that they used to use these uh, jumper plates for the studs to connect the floors together so you can pull them apart easier or put them back together nice and simply.
your pants. The pants you're going to wear tomorrow. And the next day. And the day after that. This song is really freaking weird. Huh. And the day after that. Let's change it. <laughs> Back to the chill piano. Yeah, I like this playlist better. Get to build four nice little chairs right here. And the awesome part is, is that you can actually put a minifigure on them because they're studs. The chairs don't look Absolutely that amazing, but nice little chairs. <laughs> Build four of them. We go along the outside of the windows here. The Bad Batch show just got an official release date. Start streaming it on May the 4th on Disney+. Plus. Ooh. I'm excited for that. Did they, like, release a trailer for it? <laughs> so if they did, I'm definitely going to have to go watch that. That the show, like the clone commander, the only one I know is Cody. Uh, it's like the animated Star Wars, the Clone Wars. Uh, but it's an extra spin-off, I guess you could say. Um, for Star Wars. Um, with showing off the Bad Batch. And it should be pretty cool. And it's, uh, it's all canon too, so it's all like what actually is supposed to be happening in the story and it happens between episode 3 and 4 as the Empire is growing to power. I like these little tables out front. But yeah, each of the clone in the uh, Bad Batch has like their own like unique uh, like specialty, I guess, that they're good at. And there's five of them. Yeah, there's five of them. But it should be pretty sweet. I'm definitely excited for it. But now it's good to know that we, uh, we know when exactly it's all coming out, too.
building some nice little lights right here. It, it is uh, pretty cool, and if you've seen, uh, I, I take it that you haven't seen it yet, but if you go on Disney Plus and if you watch Star Wars The Clone Wars and you watch that all the way through, um, The Bad Batch is actually in the final season. So season 7, The Bad Batch is in that, in the uh, Clone Wars. And then now this new show, which is going to be Star Wars The Clone Wars, or just Star Wars Bad, uh, the Bad Batch uh, TV show is basically continuing their story after um, you see them in the Star Wars The Clone Wars final season. Nerdbrick101, hello, hello, welcome, welcome to the stream, got the little plants out front, all right, now we gotta make eight of these yellow, uh, awnings here, and then eight of the white ones as well, so we got four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Now we gotta make eight of the white ones. Two, three, six. And eight. These alternate going over. I think that this is supposed to be like a little coffee shop right here. looks really nice. I like that. See right here. <laughs> Here. 
Oh yeah, this is definitely supposed to be a coffee shop. Nice plants next to the door. Yes, I like them too. I like them too. Alright, I'm gonna get to put this little coffee pot right here. go right here for the uh, coffee store that sits above the door right here I like it I like it a lot onto the flower shop right here, it looks like. That's what the, uh, this, like, gate door right here is, uh, used for. You put on these, uh, plant pieces, kind of make it like a little, uh, graded area with some, uh, leaves on it. Now I'm pretty sure that these pieces right here, um, are not made with Unlike how nowadays they are made with real plants. Very cool. This now just sits right here above this little walkway. Clips into place and then you have the nice little like vines up on top of it. Could be the name of the store, Sunny Coffee, Coffee Bricks, mm, maybe Sunny Delight, er, Early Risers, something like that. I don't know.
lots of clip people. What else is right here? Like twelve clip people all just right here. They've kind of left like this backside open back here for some reason. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Just chilling. We're almost done with the the third step here. Finally. <laughs> You think you'll like the assembly square more than the other modules? Maybe. I heard that. I mean, I know that Fubuki really likes uh, the assembly square here. So, I, I'm going to assume that I'm going to probably really like it as well. And could you maybe put some music in the background? Is it not in the background? Should be in the background. I just need to turn it up. Yeah, I think that we're I think that we're all good. Yeah, I just needed to turn it up. It's probably just a little bit too quiet.
Yeah, I just turned it up just a just a wee little bit. That piece upside down. There we go. Kind of sounds like music you'd hear in a mall or something like that. This is just uh, chill piano music is the name of the station. I think everybody needs a friend. So we're going to give you one, right? Some of the songs are really good and some of them are just kind of like, eh. Nothing too major. Otherwise, I can try to find a different station if you guys want. We got... Here's happy EDM. It says uplifting EDM to keep your to keep you smiling. Let's try this. this. Sounds like a fun little station. I'm kind of dumb. I don't know how I managed to misplace a whole brick. The wrong color one. Probably just picked it up and was like, oh, this is the right size brick. This music's okay. Well, I don't really know what you guys want. Well, here we get to use these uh, trans green ball joint pieces right here. Holding these flower pieces. Is the next stream going to be the Porsche? Ah, uh, yeah, I think that that'll be tomorrow. And then, I feel like we're probably not going to be finishing this today at this rate. But we get to make these little roses. Music is good in your opinion. I like it. I like it too. It's kind of a. It's really up lifting, upbeat, happy. 
yeah, tomorrow we'll build the Porsche. Um, and then I think we might just have to finish this on Friday. Alright, there we go. So we got the two little roses up front here. So this is... Okay, so what I was worried about is if I was going to pick this up and if it was just going to crumble apart because of the two base plates and... But no, it's actually... It's holding really well. Now, I would not recommend holding it on one side with one hand, but... <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually holding up really well. But we just put on these cool little roses right here. I really like that. Alright, so now... Let's pop open bag or step number four. So I think that today we'll just finish off with this step number four right here. Um, see how many bags step number four is. Yeah, I think we'll finish off with step number four. Um, and then on Friday we'll finish off this uh, this really amazing set looking set right here. Oh, I guess that there's also five bags for step number four here. But it looks like we're building up the these two floors for the flower shop and the bakery. We're building the second floors for them. Oh, there's like this like mint green color. That's a really weird color. Uh, hard to see, but these are like mint green. Here's white next to them. You can kind of see the difference. They're a little bit darker. But it's like a mint green color. Very interesting. Here we get to make the uh, dentist. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Why does there have to be so many bags for each step? <laughs> I know that this this is probably just when they were still cause it, this was technically four years ago is when this set came out. Which is crazy to think that 2017 was four years ago. But um, there, I know that they were getting into more uh, separating out bricks and stuff like that so you don't have to or separating out the steps and everything like that I know that they're getting into that in the 2010s because before that everything just all came and you just had to guess which uh, or not really guess you just had to open up all the bags and then basically just go from there and separate out all your pieces A nice uh, mustache, mustache guy right here too. The doc, or not the doctor, dentist. He has some. Is it nice? Nice torso printing. Um, but he wears brown pants, which is a little strange, if you ask me. 
that's the dentist, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the photographer right here. Nice little mustache on him. Put these on the base plate with the other minifigs. Alright, cool. Let's start building. Curious to see of how they do this, uh, this section right here since this area is upside down and then all the rest is tiled off. So that's my question for the, uh, this side of the build. Not really sure how that's going to work. Ugh. Oh, we got a nice printed glass piece here that says Prevent Yellowing Dentist. It has a picture of a tooth on the glass piece there. A nice little advertising piece right there for the dentist office. My bad. I always do that every once in a while. I accidentally uh, tap on the microphone. Unless if they're just going to set it right on top. I guess that... That still makes sense. It's just, they're just not going to uh, use it as a piece for building off of. Alright, there we go. <laughs> it looks like that's the floor layout for uh, two buildings here. Second floor. Add a few more little details going into this.
sure this goes just like that. Yeah. To be honest, I've never seen a dentist with brown pants. Yes, I have not either seen a dentist with brown pants. Um, normally they're still just wearing like white or blue, like, like a blue nursing pants or whatever, like the sterile pants. I don't know their actual name, but that's normally what they're wearing, right? I've never seen one with brown pants, though. <laughs> Jeez, I put, put down 17 of these things. What's going on with that, huh? Looks like we're just kind of building on top of the flower shop at this second right now. window pieces right here so that I uh, kind of clear up a little bit more space. Another pre-molded staircase, more window frame pieces. Alright, let's move all this over here. I'm going to push this just a little bit closer and so right here on the second camera is where we're, we're building the uh, second floor now. So you can see everything nice and up close and personal here. Um, but if you want to see me building this, uh, sadly it's only going to be right here. Unless if I move this off to the side, but I, I like the look of this right here too. it for that stuff.
interesting use of these uh, cheese wedge slopes right here. Rick, Rick Mation, Ben, hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Currently building the second floor right here now on the top camera right here. Um, but here's all that we've accomplished so far with the assembly square. But welcome to the stream, how are you doing? That set's awesome looking, man. Thank you, thank you. I really uh, am enjoying it so far too, just besides the, uh, never realized it was that big. Yeah, it's a base plate and then half of a base plate and then they're all connected together. <laughs> it's pretty big. It sounds like it's from Mario. Kind of. Mario Bros. 2? Maybe. I think that... It kind of reminds me of uh, the Lego Movie 2. Number 2. Lego Movie number 2. That's what that game kind of reminds me of. Oh, I think that this is going to be the dentist office on the that will go above here. And the looks of how uh, <laughs> some of these pieces are looking right here. Vision, hello, hello. Oh, here's the piece. Yeah, I am just blind. Welcome to the stream. Oh, 
I have never seen that piece before. All right. Looks like this is supposed to be like a little, uh, like sink or something like that right here. Very cool. Alright, then we get to put on a bunch of this, these tan bricks as well. I think that's it for that stuff. That's what it looks like. to go see you next stream all right sounds good uh yeah we'll be live streaming the porsche 911 tomorrow should be a ton of fun but thanks for uh handing out today this one one little brick right here get a pre-molded little filing cabinet or the drawer right here. that step little cabinet that we just put in here as well. That'll make that look a whole lot better <laughs> than just a bunch of studs. Ah, uh, this is the uh, photographer's room right here as well. Very fun.
Oh, well, they do tile off this area right here. Oh, they do actually make this area look a little bit neater. There we go. plant right here it looks like with a telephone is that what this is supposed to be oh let me put a little newspaper in here. A little faucet to the sink. Whatever this really strange piece is. This goes Ah, so this is what the kind of mint green looking tiles are used for. Used for the dentist chair. Right here. Oh, that's a clear piece. Looks like a white piece to me. And the instructions here. Alright, then we get to build up the wall just a little bit more. Very cool. Here it looks like we're just building the chair just a little bit more. Or finishing up the chair. Yeah, finishing up the chair. Using the last of this uh, mint green tile piece here.
Alright, very cool. <laughs> I like this dentist chair. It's pretty sweet. It looks really good too. There we go. Very fun. I need to secure these walls down because that's going to be happening a whole lot more here in a couple minutes if we keep building the same bricks on top of one another. Alright, here we go. Now we get to kind of just secure them down here. Let's see what this weird piece is for now. For um uh like the light that the dentists have that they'll come shine down over your face. Interesting use of pieces, though, that is for sure. <laughs> Alright. I like it. some doors. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, we get to hang a picture up on the wall. You know, to in the dentist office. That's funny. Oh, we had third door here now. Jeez, I don't think I've seen three doors like this all next to each other in that close proximity. And I guess we're just stacking up five one by two bricks right here. All to go right there. Awesome. Oh, wow, all right. Get to put some nice little brick work, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be. By stacking up these uh, plates and putting the tiles in on the side. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the stream. Hope that you're doing well. And there's actually quite a bit left that we have to build here, so. But sadly, we're gonna have to make a part three for this. Uh, but tomorrow we're building the Porsche uh, 911 Turbo tomorrow. And then Friday, I think we'll finish building up this set here. This set is pretty decently big for 4,000 pieces. Lots of small little details. So yeah, I think we're going to have to finish this on Friday, but still going to finish up all these pieces right here too, just so that uh, we don't leave them all hanging out on the table here. <laughs> we got to have 25 of these uh, bricks and 25 tiles, and all we're doing is really just stacking them on top of one another kind of make this a uh, nice little brickwork going into it all right this is the last one here now Two of these windows. Lego has become giant. Uh, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> I mean, it's also closer to the camera too. So, but it looks so good.
Here we get to also put on the nice printed dentist piece here as well. already a beautiful set it really is here's the uh, nice window print right here that says dentist and prevent yellowing for your teeth all right now we get to make three of these but it includes stacking five of these uh, modified bricks right here with then put it on 30 cheese slopes so that's uh, pretty unique but also very repetitive because we have to do it three times I'm trying to make this look as good as possible making all these uh, cheese slopes look even so they're not like kind of crooked or anything like that but are you still missing so much yes I am missing well we're building the second floor right now to the flower shop and the bakery right here we're building the second floor to that and then there's gonna be a third floor on top of that <laughs> and then same with this this is gonna be this is like a little coffee shop and then there's going to be a second floor, and then a third floor, and then there's going to be the roof to all of it. So, we're still missing quite a bit. But we're actually getting kind of a little close here to being done. And then we'll put this project on hold until Friday. Friday is when we'll finish this. And then tomorrow we're building the Porsche 911 Turbo. And so I'm very excited to build that. I really like how they made these uh, like cheese slope angles right here. Um, I'll hold it up to the camera here in just a second so you guys can see it. But basically we're putting all of these modified bricks right here. Almost like headlight bricks. We're stacking them all up just like this. And then we're putting all these cheese slopes on them. Which I'll show you in just a second as I put 10 of them on here. Again, try to make it as straight as possible because I want this set to look beyond gorgeous. Do you want me to tell you a few words in Italian? Sure. I am down to learn some Italian. Alright, so then we uh here is those bricks with the cheese slopes on them and then we put them on this tower area right here and I made I already made two of them before oh man they need to kind of clamp this all down but here it kind of gives it like we put them one right here one right here and one right here Gives it kind of a little bit of a rounded edge. Uh, let's do a pop up right here. So yeah, it kind of gives it like a little bit of a rounded edge for this uh, little spire right here, I guess you could call it. All right, hopefully we kind of clamp this down right here. Yeah, a 
Let me hear some Italian. I don't really know any Italian because I've never really had an opportunity to uh, learn it or anything, but hey. If you want to teach me some, that'd be kind of good. Kind of neat. In high school, I took a little bit of German. I don't remember some of that. Not too much though, so... Imperial Brick, don't quiz me. Nice method? Yes, it, I really enjoy that. Nice little cabinet right here. It sits just like that. Oh wow, we're already, already tiling off this area. All right. Now we just gotta put everything into place here. And kind of make sure everything is all stable as well. It's almost all of these are just stacked on top of one another. It feels like it's pretty loose. hooked up now so nothing will go anywhere it's all well put together again with only using a couple little jumper plates right here to uh, attach the next floor onto it Re repeat oh Oimo? Goimo? <laughs> well, first of all, what does that even mean? And second of all, how do I even pronounce that? Like, what's like the correct pronunciation for that word? I don't want to be saying it if I don't even say it correctly. But also, what does it mean? Well, if it means something really bad, then I'm just saying that. Saying that on stream. That wouldn't be good. Don't care, you're learning a lot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like this little uh, stair.
staircase that goes up the back side of the building here. Pretty cool. It's right here. Got another nice printed piece right here as well. Sits up on the wall for a picture. Gosh darn it. Isn't there like a word in Italian that like can literally mean a whole bunch of different things? That like uh... You can say it for a lot of things. Do you have a Lego of a car? Yes, I do. Well, I mean, we have the Porsche 911 right here, the Porsche. And on top of that, we also have um, the James Bond car. And then behind me here, we have the Ferrari, the Lamborghini, the Porsche 911, RSR, the Bugatti. And a bunch of LEGO Speed Champions behind me here. Up here, we have the Jeep Wrangler. Um... And then, yeah, the James Bond car is up there. So, yeah. I do have a lot of LEGO cars. And I also have a bunch of LEGO City cars, too. Ooh, I like this little, uh... It's like a little camera for the photographer. I like it. Looks like an old timey or old timer type of camera. Man, great build. The only problem with the creators is that they should come with lights. Yes, I 100% agree. That'd be super, super cool. Here's a little camera that we just built right here, and this is actually a chrome silver piece right there on the camera. It's kind of hard to tell, but that dish piece is uh in chrome you have so many <laughs> yeah i kind of do oh wow this fits right in here so interestingly i've never seen it something like that put in like that oh there we have the camera and put into that little camera studio right here Yeah, I do have quite a bit of uh, Lego cars, but I really enjoy Lego cars, especially the Technic cars. I think that those ones are just fantastic. Jeez, we gotta build six of these? Holy cow. I need 30 of these one by one bricks. And just need to make 10. 
10 of these uh, one by two bricks stacked on top of one another. Just about done with this second floor here. It looks like we're about to put on a whole bunch of windows. After we finish putting on, stacking all these bricks right here. Oh yep, yeah, what did I say? Actually, we gotta make these two little window flower pots right here, which are kinda cute. How much did it cost? Uh, well, all the Speed Champion cars, they're like $10. Yeah. Um, and then the Ferrari right here and the Porsche 911 RS, um, RSR, they cost $160, $160. And then the Lamborghini and the Bugatti, those are the Three hundred fifty dollars, and then um, the Porsche nine eleven Turbo right here was a hundred fifty, and then uh, the James Bond car was also a hundred fifty, if I remember right, or maybe it was cheaper. I guess I don't completely remember. Um, but yeah, most of the cars here are over a hundred dollars. Like the bigger cars are over a hundred dollars. Oh my goodness, I did these semi wrong. I was supposed to put this uh, white window looking thin instead of uh the clear window piece that's darn it so I would say just on Lego cars alone I've probably spent over a thousand dollars and that doesn't include um, all the other Lego sets so are you are very fan of Lego yes yes <laughs> I absolutely love Lego but I'm about to be posting some uh, gaming stuff too, because that should be coming in the mail here quite shortly. I think it should be coming in the mail uh, tomorrow when my gaming stuff should be coming in the mail. 
And then I'm thinking about posting just like funny moments that happen throughout the week or whatever. I think that that'd be kind of fun. On top of all my Lego stuff too. Finally connecting all of these uh, window pieces down so they're not gonna hopefully not gonna um, break apart all the time we gotta make six more windows basically do the same thing by putting in a clear window piece on the bottom and the white one on top. I think it's supposed to act as if it's like window curtains or blinds. I kind of wish that they would have printed these pieces or on these smaller window pieces because they did that in the Stranger Things Lego set. They printed on those smaller window pieces that you clip into place uh, to kind of look like boarded up newspaper. And that looked really cool. Um, so kind of cool if they did that with these, but they made them with uh, like window blinds. I think that'd be super cool. All right, just about done here, folks, and then we'll call it for a day here, and we'll continue on more tomorrow with the Porsche 911. But let's just finish up this floor right here. I almost forgot to put on all of these pieces. Oh, I actually know this song. This is a good song. Alright, there we go. Now I just gotta put on the... Uh, tile pieces to make sure everything's all hooked up to one another looking good this one was fairly simple Alright, and that's that. So, this camera does not want to stay up. Alright, so here's this floor. So, here we have the dentist office. Right here, we have the nice chair. There's a bunch of like a sink and all that. Oh, all these things. Tile newspapers fell out. Whoops. And then right here we have the photographer's uh, little studio right there with the nice camera. And then there's like the white white screen right back here too. And then this just all stacks up just like this. Looking absolutely phenomenal when you stack it all up of course making sure everything's all lined up but there that is all stacked up right there so now we have the second floor to the flower and the bakery with the dentist and the photographers the room right there it looks really nice I fairly enjoy it But yeah, so we're going to call it a day now here with uh, ending with the second floor here. So we'll continue. Actually, we won't continue. We'll finish building this on Friday. Tomorrow we're building the Porsche 911 Turbo right there. Uh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited to build that tomorrow. So yeah, come back tomorrow for that. 
and Friday we'll finish building this and then I guess that'll be it for the week won't it oh it looks great it does look great I love the look of this it's absolutely amazing just besides the backside where it's uh just the green base plate on the back don't really enjoy that but besides that that's uh it's all good what's interesting though is that uh the corner garage has a tan base plate and the police station here has a gray base plate so very interesting there and then also the um i had to move this off to the side so i could show off the porsche 911 but the uh uh spring lantern festival here is also on gray base plates but in case you guys didn't know you can actually uh you can hook up modulars to the spring lantern festival here just like that uh, so yeah you can hook that all up together there so that actually looks pretty sweet just like that but anyways so we're going to call it a day for today with the uh, building here i hope that you guys enjoyed it but we'll be back tomorrow with the porsche 911 turbo super excited to build that and i hope that you guys have a great day oh no g fet jake i'm back oh no right when we're about to finish up or right when i was about to finish up here uh come back tomorrow g fet jake we're building the 911 turbo and then uh friday we're finishing up with the we're finishing up the um assembly square here so super sorry about that but uh, we're just going to call it a day here today so we don't take up too much time. We've already been streaming for two and a half hours, just building two steps. Um, so we're going to finish this up. Uh, finish this up on Friday, and then tomorrow I'll come back for the Porsche 911 Turbo that's behind me right here. Uh, I think that'll be also a very fun build. But I hope that uh, all you guys have a great day.